Well, I'd like to say good morning. Technically, it is a good morning for me. And uh, this is going to be an interesting experiment. I'm going to try to keep this one short. If it isn't short, I'll be late for work. But anyways, so we're here. Uh, I truly appreciate the fact that, that you're you're listening to my stuff. Um, 11,196 uh, views so far. What a joy that is. My goodness. And uh, I, uh, I am told you can actually make money uh, through advertisers that might <laughs> wish to advertise on your uh, YouTube channel. Oh, well. Huh. Well, it's not impossible, I suppose. A Dodge dealership would. Uh, not sure about anyone else. But anyways, I uh, I turned uh, the television on uh, two days ago and uh, watched for 20 minutes uh, Fox News. Um, tweets their own CNN, whatever, MSNBC. Hey, it's your choice. Like salvation. It's your choice. And, um, but I watched about a potential revival getting started down in the States in the universities. And I thought, isn't that like God to start um, a revival? It, uh, they, Fox News, um, I'm not, I don't care what denomination they are, uh, but they are a collection of people who reverence God. They may not behave like it. I can't judge them. I don't know them. Um, but I do know, uh, after 25 years of watching Fox News, I, I, I know the ones who are uh, Christian or Yes, Christian, because that's what people say. They're Christian. I I don't I say, hey, I'm a I'm a a white guy, that's somewhat, shall we say, self evident, uh, who happens to believe in a creator and his son. And the joke is, I suppose, that all the tenets of my faith are very, very similar to the tenets of Christianity. Um I remember I'm trying to remember the name of the town where people were first re referred to as Christians. Well, they, there were a lot of uh, people who adhered to the tenets of faith, who walked with Jesus, and but they weren't called Christians. So anyways, that's the way it is. <laughs> <laughs> but I was thinking, wouldn't it be something if the end time revival that is well documented in scripture were to start, have its beginnings um, at the seat of liberal uh, democratic um, corruption, that being the universities in the U.S. Because if you were to be a professor at a university in the U.S., and you said, hey, I adhere to the tenets of Christianity, you'd be fired. And no one would defend you because no one likes anything to do with Christianity. And yet, God, Jesus Christ, they are the center of Christianity. And yet, I, I have said for many years that if Jesus were to walk in the back door of a church, on a, a typical church, a typical Sunday morning, someone would probably go down to the local RCMP and run a make on him. Who is this nutter? Who is this crazy person who suffered, bled, died for our sin? Think about it. Okay. It's a challenge for me to adhere to um, an overall direction. I have a lot of help. <laughs> Anyways, apparently, 
there is a revival, a potential revival starting in the universities across the states. And furthermore, apparently, um, getting started at various places through <laughs> through uh, universities um, potentially around the world. And I, I can't remember scripture and verse, say, oh, gee, no. But I sure have read uh, quite a bit about, in scripture, about uh, an outpouring of the Holy Spirit, which means a revival, prior to the return of Jesus Christ. And so you watch signs, uh, symptoms, signs, of what you have read and compare uh, them to what is going on now in what we would call, when I was a kid, we called it current events. Uh, nowadays, it's probably called vain imaginings uh, because we only hear a semblance of the truth. The rest are well hidden. Well, I won't say anything about Anyone, uh, YouTube doesn't like that when I do that <laughs> at all. Whoa, they don't. Uh, having been reprimanded twice, uh, I will adhere to a semblance of um, decency. Well, actually, not so much decency, it's what you can say. <laughs> but, if this is the revival that is spoken of in Scripture, we who have found peace that passes understanding through accepting Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, asking God to forgive us, we should in many ways celebrate. I'm not celebrating. Because though my cup is always half full, always, well, unless it's empty, but I mean, you understand what I'm saying, but I have a heartfelt concern for those who have not listened yet. The word's out there. God gives every one a chance to believe or disbelieve. Let's go back to the three crosses, Jesus in the center, the reflection of mankind on either side of Jesus, all three dying, Jesus, of course, innocent. The one man hating Jesus, the other man saying, hey, Jesus. Remember me when you come into your glory. Well, I, I am the one who wants to know that I haven't missed an opportunity to share the reality, the truth, the joy, the peace, the wonderment of being at peace with God through Jesus Christ, through a simple, small prayer that is spoken from the heart. That thief on the, on the I picture him on the left side. I, I'm not sure. If you were looking at Jesus, uh, all three of them, I'm not sure. Left side, right side. I, am, I think on the left, but I don't know. And he chose wisely. My prayer is that you choose wisely. My prayer is that if we're getting that close to the end, to Jesus returning, I mean, I study Revelation. Well, for me, to use the term study, well, that's a euphemism. <laughs> because I, I have never been able to learn as a normal person could learn. In school? Oh, I love school. I just didn't want to go. Well, because I would have to talk to someone, possibly the teacher. 
possibly he would not understand how I answered questions on my exams. He would ask a question, I would say, relatively speaking. Well, it took him about four months, and then he just woke up one day and said, relative to what? Well, he had me stumped. Okay, Eve. If we're that close to end times, that there is a revival, an outpouring of the Holy Spirit, that's how it's spoken of in Scripture, as demonstrated, recorded, written in Revelation and several other books in the, in the Bible. Then you look at the one you love. Um, I pray every day for the one whom I fell in love with two years ago. Haven't even spoken to her since. Hardly at all. But I pray every day. Sometimes more than once a day. You look at those whom you love and you picture an eternity without them. Well, some of my marriage partners, I hope I have an eternity without them. But that's my own, you know, selfish thing. But that's a concern for me. But I'm not God. Fortunately, God is. God says he will give everyone a chance to believe. And so the onus of responsibility is not on me. It's on God. My responsibility is to live out everything that I speak out, to live it out, to make it as real in me as possible. It's not hard. It's actually quite easy. Even as salvation is simple, we tend to think, well, if it's that simple, why do we need to do it? It's called obedience. It's called honoring God. It's called accepting his sacrifice of Jesus Christ on the cross. Can you imagine? Can, can, can you just imagine with me? Were you, uh, not saying you're narcissistic, but picture, if you were God, and God, you sacrificed your child for the love of the people of the world, and they rejected him, rejected your love, rejected you, rejected everything that had a semblance of decency, goodness, well, you'd be a little ticked off, wouldn't you now? Yes, indeed. So I'm pretty much uh, convinced that this is the emotional fix that I needed in order to, not hurriedly, but in order to get dressed. Uh, I'm in better shape today than I have been on occasion. Uh, but for me to get ready to go to work, I encourage you, uh, grab your computer type funny laptop type thing, which I don't know, incidentally know how to run, and look up worldwide revival in the U.S. and uh, or revival in the universities. Take a look at it. Then grab Revelations. I prefer the King James, but New King James Version is good. Some of the others aren't bad. It depends on whether you like old English or, or not. I do. And uh, take a look at Scripture. Take a look at this young generation of university graduate type people. Here, Lord. Only God could do that. Only our Lord could go into the very heart of evil, which is in great part the system of education we have nowadays, and resurrect from that something good, pure, holy, wonderful. So, God bless.
Oh, I'm sorry about this video. But it is. 601. Let's hope it lives up to the rest of them. Some of them are real good. Thank you. God bless you. You have a good a good day, a good evening. I know I will. I'll be sitting on an 870 Hitachi Ho. 12 hours, just smiling. God bless.